This is so freaking overdue. Okay? Okay. Guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We have an upcoming seventh grader and an upcoming third grader, and this is our eighth year of homeschooling. So, I wanted to share with you that it is curriculum cleanout time. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. I kind of love this time of year where it's like out with the old and with the new. I can pull out my big box from the attic that we kind of keep all of the uh, stuff we're going to use again for the second kid, get things cleared away, things brought in. I like to reset their cabinets. I like to go through everything, get my hands on it and determine if it really gets to stay here, if it needs to move along. So I love this time of year. I am so far behind. I'm so far behind. I've had a box sitting on this floor for, I swear, over a month. This is so past due. I am so far behind on when I normally do this, um, and it is stressing me out. But if you don't know, I literally also have, right behind my tripod, um, my kitchen drawers. We had a small leak over Labor Day uh, from the time that... I am filming this, we are in June. Um, it has been wild, wild. Uh, we've had fans and blowers and people and there's holes everywhere. And uh, just today he came to like clean up after themselves before, like we still haven't gotten a contractor in here, came to clean up like after themselves, the, the water removal people. And like he went to plug in a vacuum and then all of a sudden I'm like, <laughs> It smells like electrical fire. Like, is everything okay? And he's like, uh, yeah, just my vacuum, like, fried. So it is just like, I mean, it is thing after thing after thing. And this was a first world problems, y'all. There are people in the world who have it worse than me. Absolutely, 100%. Um, but this does make for a little bit of erratic norms. So moral of the story is that... This is long overdue. I'm excited to be getting it done. And I'm gonna let you know what my steps are along the way. I do have stuff that I intend to send to new homes that I will be getting out of my house. And I usually share that over on Instagram. I had one person who requested just a ton of this stuff, which makes my life a lot easier because she just made me a list of what she already wanted. So most of everything I'm getting rid of, I think is already spoken for. But if there's anything else, I do always share that because I like it when things can like have a new home and have a new life and benefit someone else. Um, so I will be sharing that over there. Step one in swapping over my process is I pull everything out. So everything out of my storage cabinet, um, everything out of upstairs, everything out of the girls' individual cabinets, and everything out of my Mom and Me Monday cart. So everything comes out. And from there, I figure out what we need to, uh, how we need to sort, what we need to store, what we need to sell or get rid of. And then uh, basically we just start making decisions at that point. I like to wipe everything down because it's the only time it really gets that is kind of like between times. Um, so I like to do things that way. Here it is, guys. Look at this. Now, you may notice that a lot of this stuff is from years and years before, of course, and I will keep it in there if they still enjoy it, if they still haven't finished it, if there's more they want to do, if they never even got around to looking at it, I will tend to keep it in their cabinets. Now, you're going to see a lot of this go right back in because as you can tell, it's fun learning. It is the things that they enjoy doing. And I am okay with keeping all of that on hand, even during the school year, because that's important to me. I want them to like what they're doing. Now, here it is. Look at that. Oh, actually gets cleaned. The outside gets cleaned a heck of a lot more than the inside does, but it's in use. It's usually super full of stuff. And as you can imagine, it is hard to always get that cleaned out. Now, here is my big kids. It's a little more organized a little more workbooky, um, and there are some things like the artist watercolor set on the top shelf there that she has had now since her third grade year, so I did not repurchase them for my incoming third grader. As you can see, games, fun things, robotics, random papers, um, some clay that they've had in there forever, 
Mad Matter from her very first Timber Doodle set. I mean, just all kinds of fun stuff in there, but it is time for a well needed clean out. And again, in a minute, when you see me going back in and putting stuff back into our cabinet, you're going to see a lot of the same stuff because again, it is fun learning. Now I'm pulling out and storing a lot of things and I am putting things like, for example, this White House puzzle in the back gets shoved to the back and then forgotten about. So it's important to do this to rotate it, to get it out in the front so they can see the fun things they forgot that they own. Now, step two, at this point in the year, I like to put in the fun stuff so that when they go to their cabinets, the first thing they pull out is the fun summer stuff. So the books they want to read, the games they want to play, mad matter, painting, any crafts we have left over, all of that is what goes in because summer is all about fun and fun learning still counts as learning. Here are the things that have gone back in, lots of games, art, workbooks, uh, robotics, clay, mad matter, things like that. Now, a lot of things we are actually at the point where they are coming right out of my big kid's cabinet and going straight into my little kid's cabinet. For example, the scratch coding cards have come out of my big kid's cabinet and gone right into my little kid's cabinet because she is now obsessed with scratch coding and moving on from the junior edition. So this is handy. Then what I like to do is take the new and put that sorted out between which kid and each kid gets a shelf in my storage cabinet and that is how I like to do this. So step three is sorting, storing, and putting it back, okay? Step three is to sort and store the new stuff that's coming into our next year. Now this process really helps me get a handle on what I have, what needs to kind of get cycled out or stored away for my next kid. As you can see, we've not even cleaned off our clipboards yet. And then it gives me a chance to see what all we have and also organize it by kid. And it just helps my brain start working. I'm spinning already. I'm starting to think about the things that we have, where they're going to go, how we're going to use them, how we're going to plan them, and really getting a handle on what's in our house what's going out, what needs to stay, what needs to move along, what fun things we have coming up. And this process also helps my kids get really excited about the schoolwork that's to come because I tend to not let them do the fun stuff until that we have cycled over and officially started that next school year so that they can wrap up what they had before or use the things already in their cabinet. Guys, thanks for coming along and cleaning out, getting ready for our summer curriculum season with me. I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Be sure to look over on Instagram if there's anything that you saw that you're like, hey, if you're done with that, I'd like to get my hands on it. Um, if it is available, I will absolutely let you know. Also, let me know you've seen the new stuff has come in. I've done an unboxing and now you've seen me stored away. What do you want to see? What pieces do you want me to look at? I will probably do Matthew C. Algebra really early because I want to know what's going on there. So a deep dive I think will be really helpful for everyone. So. Let me know what you want to see. Also, what do you do for summer? Do you clean everything out from before? Do you leave stuff there? Are you schooling over summer? Do you change it in any way? Do you just lock it all away and say, forget it, it's summer? What do you do? I'm interested to hear. Bye, guys.